you ever been unhappy? Ever? Ken, a little bit, maybe sometimes. Okay. If you've ever been unhappy, you know that you might sometimes. Yeah, you're just not happy, right? Well, you know that that feeling you get, and you just you aren't happy. Not in particular, just you're not happy. The day isn't going well. Things aren't right. And you ever get the feeling just you want to make things better? Want to get out of that unhappiness? Yeah, everybody does. Well, if you feel that, you know how I felt way back when I was 10 years old, a kid, just growing up as a kid, because I was unhappy. Now, don't get me wrong, it wasn't that I was beaten up, or bullied, or attacked, or my parents abused me, or anything like that. I just wasn't happy. So I started becoming obsessed with this idea about learning about happiness. What is happiness? What does it make people happy? Why are some people happy and other people not happy? So I started studying this, and I discovered this strange book. But it had this thing about Chinese, that the ancient Chinese know. There's something the Chinese know about who is happy, what makes them happy. And it's simply this. There are some people who have a natural smile. In other words, the corners of my turn up just a little bit. Exactly as Michelle's demonstrating there. Just, just a little bit in the corners there. And because of that, they're always happy. Even when they're unhappy, they look like they're happy, and problems just roll off their back. They tend to get promoted more. People tend to like them more. They're the nice people. Hey, those are nice guy. Those people, those are the people with that natural smile. So at 10 years old, I was wondering, gee, if those are the people who are happy, then I wonder if I have this natural smile. So I decided I was going to find out. First time I ever really look at myself in the mirror and see what I look like. So I stared at myself in the mirror. And I saw looking back at me a face that looked like this. And I looked and I thought, that's a very unhappy child in there. Then I thought, wait a minute. If I just smile all the time, I'll be happy. If I just smile all the time, we'll solve the whole problem. We'll have that natural smile, right? Makes sense? talking about Tony would be happy. So I said, great. So the first thing I started doing, I started smiling. Everybody. And my belief that this was a smile lasted until I met another human being who looked at me and said, Tim, what happened to your face? I said, I'm smiling. I said, Tim, that's not a smile. And it's freaking me out. But I didn't know anything else. I said, the smile, this is a smile. So I just kept on doing it over and over again. And 10 turned to 11, turned to 12, and older, and days, week, month, years went by. And finally, at one point, I didn't know what to do anymore. And I had to ask somebody else. I went to my best friend, Tom. He's about this tall, red-haired guy, nice guy, but a, a truth sayer. He can tell the truth. I'm talking about the guy who just tells you the truth the way it is. He said, Tommy, I'm trying to smile. It's not working. What am I supposed to be doing? He said, well, Tim, first of all, that's not a smile. Well, I'm, Tommy, how do I smile? And, and Tommy said something very weird. Very weird. And he simply said, Tim, if you want to smile, you need to practice smiling. Now, that's weird, right? I mean, you either smile or you don't. How would you practice smiling? How would you even go about doing that sort of thing? And I was one of these kids who just this, I got obsessed about these things, and then got in my head. So how do you practice smiling? How do you really would make that happen? So who has this natural smile? So I started looking around. Who has this natural smile they're talking about? And you know what I discovered, Tony? I discovered models in magazines. Models in magazines have that natural smile. Michelle is looking at me like, Tim, what are you talking about? Because you know what today like models in magazines look like, right? They look like this. They look like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate everybody, just go away. That's today's Models of Magazines, right? Yeah. But back then, Models of Magazines were happy. They're like, ah, it's a great day. I'm drinking a wonderful drink. Everything is fine. Go back and take a look at the old pictures, you'll see. That's what they look like, right, Tommy? Yeah. So I thought, that's it. Those people might have smiled. So at the age of 14, I started cutting out pictures of Models of Magazines, pasting them into a scrapbook. Yeah, I was getting pretty desperate by this time, trying to figure out this whole smiling thing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So my plan was, I would take a look at the magazine, and I'd take a look at the mirror, and I'd compare the two. 
and I'd see if I was smiling. So I went and got my smile, and I looked at the magazine, but right in the scrap. I began to understand why people were freaking out. So it doesn't look like anything at all. I said, well, maybe if I change some of my look a little bit, or change this, or change that, and I tried different combinations, and one day it just became so silly that this is ridiculous. And I looked in the mirror and thought, that's a smile. And from that day forth, I just felt better. Problems rolled off my back. Again, one of those guys, things kind of worked out for. Everything just kind of started getting better. And when I had a problem, it didn't last that long, and nothing really got me down. I was unhappy, sure, from time to time, everybody is, but it didn't really bother me. Just because, all the time, I was forcing, getting that natural smile. About now, you might be wondering, hey, Tim, do I need to start practice smiling? Well, here's a simple test you can do to see if you need to practice smiling. Just find a reflective surface. Any reflective surface could be a rear view mirror, could be a mirror in the bathroom, could be in the L train. Just take a look in the, win in the window. Just look at yourself on that reflective surface and ask yourself, does that person look like they're about to kill someone? If the answer is yes, maybe you need to practice smiling. And if you practice smiling, you too will find out that life is better, problems roll off your back, you get happier, things don't bother you. You got a big presentation coming about. They love you when you go on stage. And problems just when you just feel good. So, if you want to feel better, if you want to have your life happening, then hey, all you need to do is practice your smile today. <laughs>